Take a guess. What happens if I turn this bottle upside down? Mm -hmm. Water will flow out. Really? Watch closely. Why is it flying? It's butane. I added butane. It quickly vaporizes and expands inside the bottle, turning it into a simple water rocket. It's too tiny to be called a rocket. Why not try a bigger one? Bigger? Is this big enough? Nope. How about this one? Too small. Huh? And how about this one? What? If this thing can fly, I'll use it to drink water. Let's give it a try. Reminder, this experiment requires professional handling. Do not attempt it at home. To turn this bucket into a water rocket, we need to fill it with at least 10 liters of water and add about 1,000 milliliters of liquid butane. This way, when the bucket is flipped upside down, the butane will float up while absorbing the water heat, vaporizing and expanding, creating massive thrust. Wait, isn't this too dangerous? This is a liquefied gas we're talking about. So, what other liquid has a lower density than water and a much lower boiling point? Hmm. Yes, there is. Oh, I see. Liquid nitrogen has a boiling point of negative 196 degrees Celsius and the density lower than water. It can produce a similar fan. Finally, we'll add a tail fan. Connect the parachute, and now the prep work is done. Now let's start the experiment. For many of us, water rocket is the first rocket we ever touched. A brave attempt might bring us one step closer to our dream of space exploration. Ready? Three. Two. One! Watch! <laughs>